what's up guys welcome to another video happy to have you here today i want to present to you a little tool that is very important so if you're a developer and you're working on a project you might have to let your users upload files maybe you want your user to upload their cv maybe you want your users to upload pictures and whatever you want to do you can have the need of letting your users to upload a certain kind of files and so today i want to present you this little gs tool javascript tool which is going to allow you to integrate file uploading into your different projects so it's very useful and it's very slick so the tool is called epi.io and it lets you do just that and it adds a lot more features to it so i'm happy that you're here to discover this amazing tool with me today so let's just get into it straight away so if you go to the website you're going to see slick modular open source javascript file uploader so that's how it describes itself and it has been rated the top 10 tools of the year by stack share the best product launches by product hunts so useful smash magazine smashing magazine so it's an amazing tool and so if you're working on any project if you're working on a web develop web project a web development project or anything and you just need for your users to upload files you can go ahead and code that directly but you are not going to implement all the features with this tool it allows you to integrate file uploading from multiple sources for your different users with modern applications these days your users can store their files on virtually everywhere like in so many places so you want to allow them to be able to upload their files not just from their computers or their phones but from a variety of places so by implementing it using this framework this javascript framework it, or this javascript library if you prefer is going to allow you to integrate those capabilities so now your users will be able to upload their files onto your platform either from their device either from the camera directly from google drive dropbox instagram using a link using OneDrive on splash or box and it doesn't take a lot of code to do this so this is just the code you need in order to integrate this so it's an amazing library it's an amazing plugin i should definitely check it out it's going to add a lot more features onto your application so bring in the files from the cloud with companion so it's it's crazy so yeah you can have it it integrates directly in react in Vue, in svelte and in angular so you can integrate it directly from there you can in also integrate it using gs as well so it has so many future large uploads survive network hiccups thanks to resumable file uploads via the open tus standards was great with the file encoding and processing back end from Transloads IT, open source and driven by the community, we listen closely and adjust the project based on your feedback. File recovery such as after a browser crash or accidental navigation via Golden Retriever. Speaks multiple languages but with accessibility in mind. So it comes with so many features. So it's just a little library that can be very useful. So in your development, when you want your users to upload files onto your servers, you might want to add this feature that is going to allow them to do just that. So head on to up.io, you can see the docs, you can see some examples. For example, here, you can add the different um, sources you want to include, maybe on slash, maybe through URL, and so on and so forth. Get some different kinds of file formats, or even dark mode if you prefer. So you can just do that easily so you can come here define the different places you want to get the, the the files from maybe put some restrictions as well on the file sizes on uh, if it's resumable or not and then you click on this code sandbox and it's going to generate that code for you so this is how you can easily design your code already using a, a ui interface so if you want to see the docs and how it works you can go ahead and check out the docs over here the quick start the guides and so on and so forth so it's, it's just a little nifty um, library that i found and i really enjoy it and definitely i'll be using this in upcoming upcoming projects of mine so hopefully you make use of this as well and you implement it on your different projects so i hope you enjoy the video catch you on the next one